Hi, how's everyone going? It's freezing in my house. I hope that you can hear me well enough with my heater in the background. Um, so tonight I'm going to pull some cards for you um, and I'm going to be talking about rituals. So the standard rituals we um, tend to use um, as spiritualists or healers are the rituals related to, oh, hey, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Um, do you like, oh, I need to fix my, you know when you got these little tag things that hang your jumper up, but, and I still keep them there because I don't know why I don't even hang my jumper up. Anyway, back to rituals. So um, the, the main rituals that we focus on as spiritualists are things like the new moon and the full moon. So for anyone um, that came on Monday night to the Women's Circle at Muses of Mystery. We worked through a new moon ritual where we created an intention and did a sigil and talked about how you can use the power of intention through the new moon because that's all about manifestation and creating new stuff. Um, and the full moon that's happening with the solar eclipse on Saturday night is all about releasing and letting go. And it is incredibly powerful at the moment because we're in this eclipse doorway. So there are three eclipses happening over a period of time. So we had one um, related to the new moon and we had one, we're having one on Saturday and then we're going to have one in the next new moon. And not only um, are they powerful because of those eclipses, they're also powerful because five, five planets are in retrograde and that's crazy. Um, so you'll be feeling a lot of different emotions coming up and changes that you're wanting to create in your life and um, feelings of comparison or uncertainty. Um, and this is why I think this is a great month to talk about rituals because they not only help you set intentions, manifest or release old stuff, they also help you to create structure in your life. So you may have seen um, in the book that, that was emailed to you, um, different ways that I have brought ritual into my life. And one that I love is creating a day. Each day has a theme. And it's interesting because over the last maybe six months, that's kind of dropped off for me a bit. Like I have not stuck so much to my meditation Monday, my go to bed early Tuesday, my creative Wednesdays, my cook at home Thursdays, my family Fridays, you know, all of these different things that um, kind of kept me in a ritual or in a structure, a routine as such. So if you can look at ways that you can create more um, ritual and structure in your life, like the book suggests, then you're going to feel so much more on top of it. Um, but I think to get more deep or to, so we can get the most out of what we need to this month. I'm going to pull three cards and we're going to talk about how these cards are going to create and help us have more, more rituals in our lives. And then I'm going to give us a little meditation to help us start the week fresh. So I'm using my favorite deck at the moment, work your light Oracle cards. My friend Yoli met the, uh, beautiful author of this card deck on the weekend. Yes. And she looked beautiful in her photo with her. I feel that they're going to be really good friends in the future. Y'all, I really, really feel like that. You guys are just going to be like hanging around in Europe, whatever. Just going to like go to Glastonbury for the weekend. Push me up that hill to the tour. <laughs> Love it. All right. Let's pull three cards. Also, are you enjoying my combination of this T-shirt and this jumper colour because they also match the cards? I did that for you guys. Okay, so when you're shuffling cards, if, you, if you're not um, well um, acquainted with an oracle deck or a tarot deck, if the cards don't want to go into a certain section, just go with it. Don't try and force the cards to shuffle into a certain... Um, <laughs> um, don't try and force the cards to, sh to, to go into a certain uh, order um, when you're shuffling. Just let them fall in. Okay, card number one. Card two. 
in card three. Okay. <laughs> so the first card is in regards to rituals is align your life. So ugh, I don't even really know what I need to say about this, but if you are feeling out of whack with area, different areas of your life, if you are feeling like there is heaviness or as I've described um, in the past, if you feel as if you are trudging through snow, you need to create routine and ritual and align your life. You need to learn to say no. Um, a great way to practice is type in a, an address into your GPS and drive a different direction and every time he or she on your GPS gives you a suggestion, just say no and keep on driving because it will continually just keep on trying to reroute you and tell you a, like a new way. So just say no. No, it's a really easy, inoffensive way to practice saying no to something. Or give yourself the challenge that this week I'm going to let three people down or I'm going to, as Cheryl Richardson, who she's an amazing life coach, says, I'm going to piss three people off this week. So ways that you can say no, because if they're, if they're feeling pissed off or if they're feeling let down, that's all their stuff. But you need to honour yourself. So that's a way that you can realign your life. You can get things back into um, alignment, you know, back into ritual and structure and feeling in control of it. Um, another way is to create those days in your week where you um, everything has a theme. So those types of things, try and create themed days. Um, you know, for people who don't mind eating the same kind of foods, create, you know, it might be that every third week of the month you have porridge every day for breakfast. You know, that's, that's part of ritual. It doesn't have to be this kind of woo-woo spiritual ritual stuff all the time. It can be the stuff that makes you feel um, your, most yourself and most taken care of by yourself so align your life is the first card that we can do this week to create more ritual the second is warrior woman and I feel like this card is very much based on that saying yes to yourself and standing up into your own power and we as women standing into that taking ste stepping into that goddess energy of who we truly are so engaging with the goddesses of Bridget and Freya and Kali and Aphrodite and, and Joan of Arc. You know, my ultimate goddess or, or, or wonder woman, power woman is Joan of Arc because when she was about to die, she said, I'm not afraid, I was born to do this. And I feel like whenever I think of that, it gives me strength to be able to do what I need to do. So find those women in your life or maybe that's yourself, remember um, your own power and use that power through your week to help you grow new rituals. It might be that because this full moon and this eclipse is going to be so intense that you need to step more into this wonder woman, this, this warrior woman. It might mean that you need to go to yoga and focus on your warrior poses. That's your focus for the week and that that's your ritual that you create. So whatever you feel you need to take from this card, take it. So that's the second card. And the third card is Starseed. I'm still getting used to the angles of this camera situation. All right, so on Wednesday night, you are, are going to have a dream. And this goes for everyone in this, on this call in this group. You are all going to have a dream and it's going to take you back to your star seed, which is the planet that your soul came from. And it is going to remind you of a ritual from that planet. I wouldn't be surprised if all of the women that are in this group are all from different planets and they have come here to collectively come together to grow as a group and to grow as, um, as women, those warrior women. So on Wednesday night, just know that even if you don't need to stay awake for it, you don't need to be in a meditative state for it, just know that in your dreams, a ritual from your past, your soul's past will come to you and it is something that you will be able to install into your life on a weekly basis and it will make you feel alive. So that's a cool message. 
do you have any questions about any of these cards? Warrior woman, align your life, which I think is hilarious, and starseed. Okay, so I'm going to put the cards down and I'm going to take you through a short meditation. So if you just want to really take a big deep breath for me. And on the exhale, if you just close your eyes. And I want you to see yourself walking through this beautiful valley. It's night time, but the moon is so big in the sky that it's like a spotlight shining down on you. The stars are twinkling and you, you look up and you can see Saturn and Mercury and you can see where they are. You know where they are in the sky. And you were walking through this beautiful valley. And on either side there are trees. And you feel completely safe. And if you've just joined the call, I just want you to take a big deep breath and close your eyes now. And in your mind's eye you can see yourself walking through this beautiful valley. under the moon, the stars. And as you continue to walk, you notice up ahead, there is a clearing from the grass. And in this clearing is a fire. And around this fire, a beautifully carved chairs made out of wood with different sigils and marks on them. They kind of create a circular seat around this fire. And as you walk closer, you see that already around this fire are all these beautiful women some in flowing gowns and dresses, some in warrior clothes, combat, leathers, with weapons and shields. Some with animals, behind or by their side. Some that look not human but magical in some kind of way. Amazon women, warrior women. And as you walk up to this fire, you notice that they greet you with such love. And Freya comes forward and takes your hand. And Aphrodite comes forward and runs her fingers through your hair. You feel completely safe and like you're meant to be there. You are part of this coven these powerful women. And as you take hands and all stand around this fire, you look up to the moon. And Freya says, women, we are here to heal. 
we're here to grow. We're here to worship our mother, Mother Earth, under the sky. We bring in the power of the fire, the earth, air, water. The magic inside our womb, the universe inside of us. We bring that all in now for cleansing. We hand over any feelings of inadequacy, pain or mistrust, and we hand them into the fire to be burned and dissolved now. And Aphrodite speaks to the moon, Mother Earth, I come to you with my sisters to heal all pain related to my sexuality as a woman, all pain related to my womb and past heartbreak and womb break. I and all my soul sisters hand over all pain and or feelings of inadequacy as I am a woman in my sexuality or in my womb. I hand this over to the fire now to be dissolved and broken. And Kali, across the fire from you, looks up to the moon. Mother Earth, I, Goddess Kali, help my soul sisters, my Goddess, All the parts of me release all feelings of power that does not serve me, all feelings of needing to be powerful, all feelings of needing to control situations as a woman. For we know when this is released that we are enough already. We are enough even if the things in our life we think we want have not materialised yet. We hand these worries and feelings over to you now into the fire to be dissolved and burned and let go and so it is. You feel this surge of release. Coming through you now coming up through you as if floating up through your chakras and out your mouth. This energy comes out your mouth into the fire as if purging this energy that has not served you forever. And you may even see this colourful energy coming out, smoke and black and blues, energy that has not served you. and it dissolves into the fire and releases and leaves you forever now and so it is. And as you all release hands now, you look up to the sky and breathe. And you see from your heart to Freya's heart, to Bridget's heart, to Aphrodite's, to Joan of Arc, you see to Carly's heart, to Athena's heart, you see the gold string and line of love connecting all of your hearts together as it runs around the circle, connection, connecting you now. For your heart is Athena's heart, your heart is Aphrodite's heart, your heart is Joan of Arc's. We are all one goddess. All together as one. And we bring in all the energy from this ritual, all the healing 
that will continue for the next 48 hours from this healing. We bring that into our heart now. And we see the beautiful gold continue to grow and grow and grow throughout our bodies, gold and light as it flourishes out. And as you breathe in and out now, You bring all of that energy into your body, into your place where you are, your home, your bedroom, your lounge room. You let that golden light flood throughout wherever you are now. And breathe in and out. And when you're ready, you open your eyes. That was pretty special, wasn't it? So like the goddess used to come together in ritual, you can also come together in ritual, whether it is on a new moon, a full moon with your girlfriends every Friday night or whether it is you create those personal rituals for yourself where every day has a theme. It was a corker. <laughs> uh, I want to remember that one. So spend some time just reflecting on that experience when you get the chance. Your goddess are with you always and it is time for you to step into their the power that they are wanting to give you as well. So I send you all my angel blessings. Have a wonderful week and I will see you online. Bye.